That's a wood shark uh, made out of maple. Uh, it's interesting, uh, it's made out of a crotch piece. You start out with a crotch piece with a large trunk part in the chuck, and you drill a hole to make the mouth between the two, two branches. And it's interesting that, that each side looks like a completely different um, shark. We'll turn it around and show the other side because the crotches are always irregular. And the eyes are, um, you drill the eye socket a portion of it, and you fill it about half full with white epoxy, with a white pigment in it. And then you just lay one of those black, uh, flat-sided uh, marbles um, in the middle of the uh, epoxy. Be sure it's level, perfectly level, mm -hmm. and it'll dry, and the eye will stay there. That's mine. Uh, did that yesterday. There's a uh, Christmas gift uh, that some of our customers is uh, going to give to her father. It's his uh, her grandmother's recipe that her father liked. His favorite recipe. So just engraved it on a cutting board. And a little later today, I'll put some finish on it. Just ch just cherry cutting board. It's laser engraved. That's why I brought it today. <coughs> yeah, this is uh, one of the Bob Lang class. Our group never finished because we failed, and he tried to do it uh, joinery by Laura and total failure. So I did it by hand. <laughs> so it works. You can show. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, but uh, I made a mistake when I cut, uh, you know, the bottom side. <laughs> you should have the right angle. <laughs> but I, I cut the other angle, so on the back, I joined them because I don't have uh, sufficient stock. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? Huh? Instead of cutting this way, I cut that way, so it doesn't fit. So anyhow, it's a complete thing. Design feature, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, Jack Morris, that's a piece of uh, live oak from St. Simon's Island that came down during the hurricane. There's wood all over the place for the taking, and I passed up a lot of it because I didn't have any place to carry it, but I saw that one log with that color in it, so I just had to have it, so I had to load it on my handicap scooter to <laughs> haul it back home. It was, what, 10, 20 foot long log? No. <laughs> And that, that's the uh, same, same log. The first piece is end grain and that's side grain. That's a small piece of uh, rivet. It's the uh, first time I've ever turned that wood. And it was really uh, a joy to turn. I don't know if it's always going to be that way, but it's the first time it worked out real well. Cool. No, it's, a, it's actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a disc. I just, I had a piece of scrap, uh, uh, ambrosia maple uh, uh, that Elizabeth Rock, the uh, wood lady, gave me, and I didn't really want to do it. I didn't want to make a pinpoint of it, so I made a disc. Um, it's a dog, and it's got it's got it's got a floor. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, it's got flooring. Okay, who stand up and explain it, please? I see. I see what you mean. No, I, I've got it. No. It slides down in. It's an oil painting. It has to be varnished, and, let, and it's supposed to wait six weeks for garnish it, but this is going to a client before you want to meet. So, wow. so I brought it in. Um, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Uh, 
but Buzz asked me to make a pattern for him so he could make one. Once I get the pattern, I can hardly turn it back. I can hardly just dial it away, so I went ahead and made it. You had to make sure the pattern worked, right? Yeah, that'd make it very <laughs> so, uh, And this is called what, George? Segmentation. Se why is it called segmentation, George? All the parts are cut, shaped, uh, thickened, raised and lowered, and so forth, uh, painted, and then glued together. Okay, Buzz, cameraman, I'm going to show what we say, it's all one piece of wood. So if, you, if one piece is off just a little bit, they fit together. But as you can see, he wanted some depth here and here and there. So look, if you can, cameraman, can you get a good angle on that? See how he's put some, put some spacers in there to yeah. make it protrude out? Is that okay right there? I can't see from back here. That's good. But that's how you do that's how you you know you make it to give it that give it that in and out effect. This is a dainty ornament here. <laughs> that would be mine. Um, I, I saw it in a magazine no, 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 and no, 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 no. without giving it much thought, I um, that work okay? Just retraced it because I didn't have a way to get to a copier. But it only has two sides. And when I look back at the pattern, I understand why now. But anyway, that's it. This is mine. Uh, this, this is a portrait I did. It's of my sister. You can see the, the picture I made wow. it from. Uh, the picture that was made from the silhouette. And, that's your sister. Yeah. This was from a few years ago. She's. Good thing they don't look like it. No. Yeah. <laughs> she, got, she got all the good looks. There wasn't any left for me. Was you made the pattern? Was she yeah. older I mean, sister? Uh, older uh, sister. Thank you. No, younger. The eyes. Okay, hummingbird back there. Easy to use. You can use your scraps. The pattern shows it as one one type of wood. It's all separate pieces, so why not make the hummingbird whatever you want? And you can use all different types of wood dough and different grains or whatever how you want to make it. Easy thing. It's self-standing. It stands up. It's a great piece. This is uh, that's the Lord's Supper and crosses. Each cross represents one of the disciples. Um, it's a it's a big seller for me at my craft shows, and this one happens to be one inch oak. So you think you have opportunities with that? Just just cut that on a constant diet and make sure. And remember, you got to cut it and be patient and persistent. Otherwise, it won't come apart. It won't come out because it, you know it's got to you got to get rid of it. And when you got so many crosses and all that stuff on the inside, those pieces get kind of tight in there. So. You don't want to bust it out. Okay, then I've made, I had time. So this piece here, this is my fallen soldier. Um, it looks like funky wood, but what it is, is coming home from a craft show about two years ago. Gee whiz, on the side of the road, somebody had thrown out a cedar chest. So I picked up the cedar chest. I still have two sides and an end left. And that's why it looks like it does with the funky thing, because it was, it was uh, glued together or whatever. And that's why some of them, this one I just did the back because I, it, you know, whatever it did. But the other piece, this one was made, on, made out of the cedar chest, and so was this one made out of the cedar chest. And you can see the back. And even the top is black, and some of them it's just pitch black. But that's why it's got it. I just kind of let the white and dark go. It's all cedar. I just let it happen where it happens. And... Sometimes it comes out good, sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, that's that's that one. This was a this was a, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going here. Okay. <laughs> you are my sunshine. It's a it's a good piece. It's an interesting piece. A lot of inside cuts, but it's no big deal. I mean, you get used to it. That's made out of oak also. Um, this was a, made out of oak. It's going as a gift tomorrow. And I think Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. This is uh this is for a doctor that I know, doctor's friend I know, and I made it up. 
It's a, it's a cross inside of a cross. And it's, it's got a few inside cuts. But I only made one. I didn't stack cut and make six of them. Uh, not that thick you would. <laughs> okay. And then my last one. This was this is a uh, this is my eagle, but the interesting part about this it looks very difficult, but it's really not. It only has five inside cuts. There's a lot of detail on those inside cuts, but there's only five inside cuts. One, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. uh, one more, Tim. Yeah. Uh, well, I pinned mine. Uh, that's one of my first that I did with Rob's coaching and the uh, way superior. What is it? What's the foot on that? Notice that you also have it engraved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the engraving was done by Larry on <laughs> his uh, oh. new engraver. Practice Ooh. for the uh, classic. Your name is Patty? Okay, <coughs> point, the cameraman points to your uh, object. Tell us a little bit about it. I think I know who this one is. Yeah, I'm working with uh, five other YouTube channels, and we're all creating album covers <coughs> <laughs> out of wood or other material. So I thought it'd be fun to do the wall because it's got all those bricks on it. So I cut all the bricks with the tablecloth and the letters. So it's just awesome. It's really cool. I like that. Hey, so I like that. It'd be neat to have the record coming out. How does it sound? <laughs> Those are all individual bricks. Right. How did you round them? Sander? Sander. Okay. Turn it, turn it around backwards one time. I just want to see how you Rob, there's side B for you. I'm just waiting to see how it's put together. Okay, I did that. I figured I had to do something transportation, so I'm going to do the next scroll. So good. So good. Thank you. Race car. Oh, I'd say that's the a very early 1900s race car.
<laughs> this is uh, one of the boxes from that Bob Lane class. This is a miter box, they call it. And I hate miters. I still hate miters. It was supposed to have a hinge top, but I just made it a lift top. Walnut, ambrosia maple. My wife likes it, that's all that matters. <laughs>